Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a kitting up video. So I am going to go ahead and get started. I do have the TV on. It's pretty low in the background, just as some background noise for myself. Um, so hopefully you don't hear it. But here are my numbers. I have everything except for my latest Easy Whim. I do still need to do the video for that, so I haven't put those in here just yet. But I'm going to go ahead and pull a number for the first one to kit up. So it's going to be number 145. I'm going to hit pause and I will be right back. Okay, so this is our, well, sorry. This is my diamond painting that I will be kitting up. So it was number 145 in my, my stash. And it has 12 colors. I will be using this, this container right here because I have 12 containers left over. So today is Easter Sunday. And let's get started. This shouldn't take too long. It's only got 12 colors, so it should be pretty easy. So I did get a printer cord and everything, and then I went to go copy some stuff and make copies, and I don't have any ink. So wah, 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 that didn't work. Um, I'll have to get some ink for my printer before I can actually make copies of the legend instead of cutting them out. But, let's see. I do try and cut off any excess that I will not use. So I do save on my printer or my label maker paper. Um, I just want to make sure I'm in camera. Don't, oh, okay. I do hope everybody has had a wonderful Easter Sunday. I do hope to get this posted on Wednesday after Easter, so hopefully. And I also will be doing my giveaway. This is my giveaway video as well. Um, uh, So inside of this video will be your um, the rules for the giveaway and what's needed. You'll just have to stay tuned so you'll know what you need to do in order to be eligible to win the diamond painting or the diamond painting pen. I did personally make the diamond painting pen. Um, so that will be coming up later in the video. Currently I am working on a square diamond painting from Easy Win. And let me tell you, I am not happy with the quality of these diamonds and I haven't had any issues with their quality before. I mean, I, I can't say I haven't had any issues. I have had issues, but man, I'm just having a time with this um, diamond painting. It's like all the drills are not uniform. So it's making it difficult to work on. Oh, these scissors are terrible. 
that I did not want to have happen. When I get up to go get my new, my next painting to um, kit up, I will get my better, my better scissors. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get them now. I'll be right back. Okay. I forgot, well shoot, still cutting through it. This is a very thick canvas and when they're really thick like this, it's hard to keep my stickers on this sticker paper to make it easier. But here we go. So this is a, a diamond painting from Linko and I did get this off of Amazon. Um, I did do a review for this company. I originally had done a diamond painting for my daughter. She asked me if I could do one for her stepmom. She ordered it, or she looked for one. We ordered it, and I got it and completed it for her, and it was from this company. And I didn't even look at the diamond painting, honestly. It's just what she wanted, so I went ahead and... I did it. Um, come to find out, there were A, Bs in it. It was a really good quality painting and it was very, very inexpensive. So I was in a group, an Amazon group, or I don't even know, maybe it was a diamond painting group. I'm not really sure. Um, and they had uh, some codes for diamond paintings and it just happened to be this company and I know that I said the pricing and everything inside of that review video, but it was not very expensive at all. And they come with ABs. I was like, wow, okay, that's nice. This one looks like it has three. So, there we go. Then I've got my handy, my big handy little big tray. My big tray, not a little tray. So I can kit up and hopefully not make big old messes. Oh. Um. Oh, I forgot. You have to squeeze the sides on these. I'm like, why can't I not get this open? I do actually really like this container. So... Well, today is Easter. I hope everybody had a great Easter Sunday. Here, here's one of them. They're blue. This is uh, more like what I've seen in the rhinestone, but I guess they're still considered ABs. There's a lot of these. It's a number three. So it's like, it's all in here. I don't know if I'll actually need all of these, so I don't have any extra space for any extra diamonds, so I'm just gonna keep the, like I did with this other one, and just keep it in the case. Um, I didn't really do a whole lot of anything, I actually went and did some coupon shopping. One of my earlier videos, I mentioned how I started couponing again. And I got some really, really good deals today. We got CVS, Walgreens kind of, I don't know, they're changing something with their coupon policy and it's kind of getting out of hand trying to get a deal there. But I did have, I, Got a lot of stuff at CVS and I didn't really have to pay a whole lot of money out of pocket. Um, 
which was nice. I actually had my granddaughter on Thursday. I had her over for the night. She stayed with me Thursday night and Friday. So we kind of, we did Easter on Friday. She's so cute. She's turning two in August. And I guess her other grandmother and her have been practicing on how to go egg hunting. So we did a little egg hunt with her and she was picking those eggs up and putting them in her basket like she knew what she was doing. Put them in your basket. Put it in your basket. We'll open them inside. Put them in your basket. Just super cute. So hopefully I will actually have her over more often now that we know she's not gonna freak out at a different place. And she slept really good for me and I'm excited to have her over again for a weekend. These aren't going to quite fit. So it looks like I'm going to have three bags left in this little container. It should still close. There was enough room in, the, in there. I have not been paying attention whatsoever to the numbers on the bags. I've been just putting them in there as I pick them up. I don't think I've messed up so far. <laughs> I guess we'll find out here in a minute when we finish up. This is another AB and it's green. And it looks like I have two more ABs. So four ABs. And this little painting that was probably, I. I want to guess under $7. This is another one of the ABs that is blue. Which I've gotten this color before. And then the white pearly. These look to me it look a little bit different than regular ABs. They're more they seem more rounded on the tops, but I, it could just be my imagination. These have just a little bit of static in them. So anyways, my son had come over and we hung out with my granddaughter and played and just had a really good time Friday. She's gotten really big. She's not talking. She's not saying any words at all. So they were taking her to see a speech therapist um, just to make sure that she's, nothing's wrong. But, so this one was number 19 in my Kitted Up series. That didn't take very long at all. Go ahead and put this to the side. No, I do not save the bags, um, especially when they have stuff written on them. So we will, I'll go ahead and pick my next painting. Hopefully I can get these other storage containers that are not completely full. So number 196. Okay, this is an easy win one, so I will be right back. I will go grab that one. All right, I am back. Here is this one. It is very small. 
I'm sure I did my review on it. From what I can remember, I think that I felt like the flamingo was going to come out. I guess we will see shortly. This is number 20. So, yeah, I'm having a really hard time with the one I'm working on. It's, um, it's a 40 by 50, so it's rather large. And I'm just having a tough time with it. Um, I need something with 30. So. I am going to use seems kind of silly to use this one because it's it holds 32 but it's bigger and there's not this isn't that big of a painting it just has a lot of colors um oh the dilemmas let's see I think I'm gonna use I'm just gonna use one of these um, I don't remember cutting this out, but okay. Yeah, I'm just going to put the extra bags in here and I'll work out of two bags because I don't want to waste my larger storage containers. That is the one thing I do like about EasyWim is they send you the inventory list, so it's a, a lot easier to make labels when you do not have a printer that works properly. Alright, so for this giveaway that I'm having, um, um, during this video, you're, you just need to write or, you know, comment somewhere that you are interested in winning. Here is the pin that I'm offering. Let me make sure this is... So it's a green pin. It's got a light green and a dark green. And the painting is this colorful deer and it is a 30 by 40 um i guess i can just open it real quick so if you are interested and you'd like to win either one of these please leave a comment if you would prefer to not win the pen or you don't want the painting then but you want the pen then just make note that you're not interested in the whichever one you're not interested in and that way I won't put you in the drawing for that one if you would not mind either one then obviously just make a comment that you would like to win and then um, I will most likely give the drawing until um, the end of April. So I'll do the drawing around May 1st. I don't know what May 1st is, so I don't know if it's a weekend, but that's when I do my videos. So whatever day, whatever weekend day after May 1st is what I will be doing the drawing. So make sure you get your comments in by then. If you are interested in winning either of those items. All right, let's I really wish I wouldn't have cut that sticker paper now that I think about it, but a lot of colors for a really small painting. Oh, 
this probably is not going to work the way I want it to work because my sticker paper, I was not very smart and cut it off. I should have cut it before I ran it through the sticker maker. So just, you're going to have to bear with me on this one. I have a Hallmark movie on in the background if y'all hear it. It's a sappy movie, a girly movie. I actually haven't watched a Hallmark movie in a while, so I thought I'd put it on in the background. I think this was an order that I actually purchased through Easy Whim because they had a sale um, on certain draw paintings and I think that this is one of those. All right. The other issue is the container I'm using is not separated so Oh, this should be fun because I like mine to be in alphabetical then numerical order. Start this way. And since I took the stickers off, the numbers off, I should have just left them on. I learned this lesson the last time I was doing kidding up, but I guess I just forgot. I think they're in order. Sometimes they come and they're not fully in order, so you just have to pay really close attention. See, that was number one, and there's a number four. If at all during this video I find that I'm not speaking a whole lot because I'm probably concentrating, then I will do a time lapse just so y'all don't have to, or I'll add music, one of, the, one of the two. If I'm not talking, I'll do something so you're not just listening to nothing. Okay. Oh, I do have my numbers still right here in front of me, so that works. This canvas is so big, and, and the painting is just, a barely a 20 by 30 but the canvas is probably a 30 by 40 ish almost canvas it's like y'all could have made the picture just a little bit bigger it's probably why they sold it for so cheap I found it was going to be easier to keep my tray, my big tray flipped over because it doesn't have a spout. That's the only thing about this big tray. It doesn't have a spout to easily pour it out or back in or whatever. E. So it'll just be a little bit easier to get the diamonds that I've dropped.
I do, again, want to thank everybody for helping me reach 500 subscribers. I'm very thankful for all of you that have subscribed and that watch the channel. Um, I appreciate more than you can know. Every kind of support is appreciated. Sorry guys, I don't have a lot to talk about. Um, I'm having to use my brain and concentrate so I don't miss any letters. So it's... When I do several videos in a day and I have to do a lot of talking in the other ones, I don't know what else to talk about. It's like I don't want to repeat myself. But oh man, I missed the R. Dang it. Oh well. Well, I missed the Q. Hang on here. That will go here. See? I was thinking about something to say and ended up messing up. <laughs> it was not as bad as it could have been. At least I noticed it now. Okay, so here is Q. Problem, crisis averted, S-T-U. W. That one was cutting it close. I think I can get it to close.
Well, I don't think I'm going to need those drills, so I'm just going to not worry about it. Because they just barely fit in there. I think that was all of that so now we can just I'm just gonna go in and label them all um, maybe it won't take much longer They definitely use a lot of the same symbols on their diamond paintings. They're not all the same colors, but they're definitely similar symbols. A new movie has started and it looks like a really, really old movie. Um, oh, it's Murder, She Wrote. I don't watch that show, so give me one second. I guess watch some Naked and Afraid again. Last time I did a video, this was what was on. Looks like I might be missing a color. I'm gonna set this aside for right now. I've never had that happen. I have had where I've ordered or gotten my subscription box and it happened to be duplicate diamond paintings and they told me to go on the website and choose new diamond paintings, but I've never been missing drills. Hopefully I just can't see it. My eyes are missing it. Because they were in some kind of order, but it's like halfway in the middle, the end of the numbers popped up, and then the middle numbers were at the end. So it's kind of a little weird how the numbers were. So I'm hoping it's just pushed down somewhere and I just can't see it.
I don't know, maybe I put it in the wrong thing. Because I'm... I'm not missing numbers. Uh-oh. So let's see. Number nine is color 600. Everything so far looks like it matches the color. I think I figured it out. I don't know. I did something wrong. Um, I don't know what color 600 is. Let's see. 327. That was definitely in number four. I remember pouring that one. But it almost looks like it should be a purplish color. I'm going to push pause and go see if I have any 600 to see what color it is. I'll be right back. Okay, thankfully I had both of these colors in my stash. I did mix up these two symbols. So purple is 327 and this pink is 600. So thankfully it wasn't that big of a mix up and I was able to figure it out. I've never done that before. Um, so I'm just happy I was able to figure it out. I'm glad that the colors kind of match because otherwise I would have had no clue. Um, let's see, one, two, three. This goes here and that goes there. And these can just sit on top like that and it will close. All right. Oh, I just need to get for my box. Jeez. Got my cat. She's going crazy. All right, so again, this was number 20 in my Kidding Up series. All right, so that one is done. I'm going to go ahead and draw. Um, well, shoot, I guess I should put these stickers on those bags. So I know which number or symbol they are. When I actually start working on this, I might grab two little, two different types of boxes or something. I'm not really sure yet. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just work with these two out of the baggies. Not that big of a deal. All right, complete. All right, I'm going to do one more in this video. Hopefully it's a small one. That doesn't take very long. Well, I got four different numbers out of that draw. All right, so we have number 99. Let's see here. It shouldn't be a big one. It's, I think, a 30 by 40-ish. So I will clean up my mess and be right back. 
All right, so here we are with this one. It's a nice little scenery. Um, it looks like a tree uh, reflection, reflecting on a lake or a pond or something along those lines. It has 22 colors. I do have a Harbor Freight container that I have two um, things missing from it, so it'll work perfect for this one. This canvas is not very thick, so I'm hoping to not have any issues with making my stickers out of the canvas. This one doesn't have a picture. And since it is so close to the canvas, I'm not cutting out the numbers. I'll just have to reference back to the other key if I get all if I get mixed up. So here we go. There's that. So I think I ask you guys in my kidding up videos all the time and I do read a lot of comments and I know a lot of you answer and I do appreciate your comments but I like to know what you guys do also in your diamond painting life. Do you like to kit up? Do you just use the bags? Do you think I'm crazy for kitting up more than one at a time? I've honestly wanted to put this easy one away so many times and I just keep telling myself, no, 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 just finish it, just finish it and just hurry up and finish it. And I just cannot, it, I, for the life of me, cannot finish this diamond painting. I work on it for about an hour a day and I just get sick of it. I think last night was the longest session I've had and it was like three and a half hours. And it's just driving me bonkers. I, I'm not that person that usually is working on more than one diamond painting at a time. I have multiple kitted up, but I typically don't work on multiple at one time, except with the exception of my big diamond painting. Um, that one is still sitting on my drafting table saying, hey, hey, why aren't you working on me? Come and work on me. And I had every intentions of probably finishing that diamond painting this weekend, but I decided to go out Saturday and spent most of my day out of the house. And then yesterday, or I'm sorry, today, I also, I slept in and I went out for a while and I mean, I, like I said earlier or in a different video, I don't even know if it was this video or not. I went couponing today and man, that just swears you out running around from store to store trying to get the best deals and deals not working the way you're wanting them to and just all that stuff. So I was tired and sat around and played on my phone and here it is. I don't know. I think it's 1130 already. But I do have tomorrow off so I will most likely be doing 
working on that diamond painting. So the good thing about my Harbor Freight is I can kit up in the order that they are and just arrange them at a later time. But I will pay attention to my little key over here just to make sure I don't go off and um, go crazy, get all mixed up. And I think Harbor Freight is my second favorite uh, storage containers because they are separated and just easy to use. Oh wow, there's a lot of black in this painting. I've got three, three things. My scissors just popped open and scared me. And I don't think that these are gonna all fit in here. I might be able to get two bags. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put the third bag because I'll have some extra space in here. So I'm just gonna put the third bag in there. a lot of black for a little painting. If you do kit up, what is your favorite container to use? What is your must-have storage system? So I just noticed on the bags the DNC code are on there, so I don't really need the key at all. That's This is nice. I like kits that are easy and... just fly right on through kitting it up. I have to say I do think my favorite is the lockables by Craftmates. And then Harbor Freight would be my second favorite. Um I have not used the other containers that I just recently purchased and had a video. I have kitted up in them, but I have not used them. But I do think I will like those square Tic Tac um, containers. Because they are separated, they're large, and the, they're compact. The container is compact, so I do think that will be one of my favorites as well. I mean, I've bought some in the past, and I can tell you my least favorite is the 28 pack that is connected that I just used. That is my least favorite. But they are compact and they're good for smaller projects, so I do keep them around for that purpose. My tape just folded up on itself. Oh well. Do you guys like these videos? That's another thing. I've I've read a few comments and you know there are a few that have said they enjoy the full um, not time-lapsed or anything um, but it was just a couple comments th 
throughout the videos. So again, I just like making sure I'm making content that you guys want to see and not just stuff that I think y'all want to see. I try to look back and see what gets the most views, but you know, I don't know a whole lot about how YouTube algorithms work and all that. So I don't know how to get more people viewing and all of that stuff. I try and I don't know that it works. I just try to post more often and hope that y'all enjoy the content and continue watching. So again, if you missed it in a few minutes ago, make sure that you comment in this video that you would be interested in winning either the diamond painting or the diamond painting pin. That way you can be entered in the drawing. I do ask that you also be a subscriber to the channel. And if you could also like this video, that would be amazing as well. So make sure you comment because I will be pulling the winner out of the comments of this video. If you don't say which one you're interested in, that's fine. You just have to comment in this video. Um, I'm not going to necessarily go through and just choose from comments that mention that you would like the diamond painting or the diamond painting pen or you're really not interested in the diamond painting but would like the diamond painting pen. However it is, just make sure you comment in this video to be entered in the giveaway. So I've let you know twice, so hopefully you've made it through this far and you made sure to make that comment because it is a hand turned pen. I did turn the pen myself. Um, we did think since we were moving into a house that maybe I would be able to turn pens again, but I'm not sure if that's going to be a possibility. But I do still have several pens that I had made in the past when we were in our house with a garage. It's part of the problem. We only have a shed right now and it's kind of full so I can't necessarily go out there and make pens. And on top of that, we're, you know, in our hot weather and it's just too hot to go out there and try to turn, a, turn pins. That lathe machine is, it's hot. But I did really enjoy making them and I hope one day to get back to being able to make them again. I'm definitely not as great at it as some of the other pin turners out there, but I can definitely tell you it's a lot of fun. We are almost done. So I have done three diamond painting kit ups today. I think I will be stopping after this one. I might sit down and diamond paint for about an hour and then I will be going to bed. I did pour me a glass of wine so I'll be finishing my wine and heading to bed. I've asked this question before too, but what is your favorite diamond painting company to order from? If I haven't already ordered from it, then maybe I will give them a shot and do a review. Or if there's a company out there that you've been, con oh man, if you've been considering ordering from, then let me know that in the comments as well and I can check it out. And if it's in my budget, I would be happy to give it a shot and see what they have to offer. I think that's my favorite thing to do is to unbag, do unboxing reviews. Um, it's, just, it's a lot of fun. So that was a pretty big mess there. Got three more to go. Is 
seven, Oh, and again, the comments for the giveaway, um, I'm going to hopefully, I'll let it run through the end of April. So whatever weekend day falls at the end of April, beginning of May is when I will do the drawing. I don't have a calendar in front of me. All I know right now is it's the 17th and I can't do that in my head as to what day that's going to be. Let's see. We have 13 more days. So I think it's going to be a Saturday. So it will fall on the weekend, I believe. Saturday or Sunday of May, the 1st of May. Um, I will do the giveaway video. So I hope you guys make sure to comment and like this video. And if you have any questions, questions or suggestions and please make sure to leave those in the comments as well and I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe my next giveaway will be at 750 subscribers and again it will be a diamond painting as well as a diamond painting pen so make sure you're Subscribe so we can reach that 750 and do another giveaway. That would be exciting to get that done sooner rather than later. But I will go ahead and end this video. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter and a wonderful day. And I will see you on the next video.